So another year, another Mancera fragrance. And of course, this brand is always pumping out new releases, including Montau, which is the sister brand. In today's Cephalobon contributor video, I'm gonna tell you all about this brand new fragrance. I think it's a huge compliment getter. Of course, it does have the namesake of the fragrance, Pepper. I'm gonna tell you about a very special giveaway associated with this fragrance as well. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Cosmic Pepper by Mancera, a brand new release available at Twisted Lily, of course. All of the links are gonna be down below. This is not a sponsored video and they're not affiliate links either. I just wanna make it convenient for my subscribers. I do wanna start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. So if you would like to participate in this special giveaway, all you have to do is shoot on over to cephalobon.com. It's going to be the first link down below in the description box. After you've become a registered reader, just drop a comment on the article. That's it, right? The winner is going to be announced on cephalobon.com, not here on YouTube, so just be mindful of that. And it's a really simple process. Best of luck to everybody watching this video who decides to participate in the giveaway. So of course, I love Mancera, right? There's red tobacco, there's Cedrat Boise, there is there are so many other fragrances from the brand Oud Lemon Mint. I just really enjoy Mancera. And one of the things that this brand really has going for it is beast mode performers, right? Their fragrances do last a considerably long amount of time on skin and clothing, forget about it. And this is a brand that constantly churns out quality fragrances. Here we have one that has pepper, which is the namesake of the fragrance, but it also has lemon, it has oak moss, there's musk, there's tonka bean. So it does kind of have like this spicy, rosy, oody type of a complexity about it. Some comparisons have been made online to other fragrances, especially one very popular designer fragrance. I'll give you my thoughts on that comparison and the overall smell in just a bit, but let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this bright, zesty lemon introduction. <laughs> and I love the lemon that is in here. And the lemon is actually made creamy through the use of, and of course there's labdanum and some other resins in here as well, but I think it's the tonka bean that is majority at play here. So the tonka bean is dulcet, it has a vanillic overtone, it's kind of creamy, it has this really smooth personality about it, and I really do enjoy it. So with that lemon tonka bean thing, Thing that's happening in the opening, I think some people were compelled to compare it to Allure Homme Edition Blanche by Chanel. And I get that, right? So people always talk about that fragrance having like this lemon meringue pie kind of a vibe. And I don't entirely disagree with that. I actually do have a bottle of it, which I've owned for a decade now, if not longer. And I really do enjoy that fragrance. But here's the thing, Cosmic Pepper is a lot more complex. It's a lot more natural smelling. So I do get the rose that is working its way in the heart here and the rose is kind of secondary to that lemon tonka bean thing the agarwood that is in here is not animalic but it does have some earthy tendencies in the dry down with that oak moss that is in here however i think the oak moss is a few steps behind the tonka bean i think the tonka bean is really kind of at the forefront here because i do pick up on that creamy sweetness from this fragrance and it's highly enjoyable. Here with Cosmic Pepper, you have something that is a little spicy. And of course, pepper is in here. I'm not going to neglect or overlook to mention pepper because it is in here. And when we think of pepper, there's black pepper, there's white pepper, there's Sichuan pepper, there's pink pepper, there's many different varieties of pepper. And the pepper that you're going to get in here, it's there, but it's not all about the pepper. I've tried many, 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 many other fragrances, especially Intense Pepper by Montal, which I've always said on my channel is not very intense. But even in that fragrance, the pepper is stronger than the pepper that you're gonna find in Cosmic Pepper by Mancera. So I do think that this is a very well put together blend. I think that initially somebody might read the name and think to themselves, ooh, I'm not a big fan of pepper. Let me avoid trying that one or let me remove it from my to sniff list. Don't. 
please try this one. And I know Twisted Lily does make samples. So if you want to get yourself a sample of it so you don't have to commit to a full bottle, I think that would be a very wise choice. All things considered, this has compliment getting appeal. It's very versatile, very smooth, very easy to wear. And it does smell like a more complex, better quality version of Allure en Medicion Blanche by Chanel. I love this one. I have worn this one so much already. I don't know if you can tell, there's only a slight dent in my bottle, but this is a fragrance like, again, I said, it's Mancera. Mancera and Montal are both quite notorious for having really good performance. So this is a fragrance that, you know what? You put on three or four sprays, you're good right, for at least the next 10 hours. And the longevity on this one is comparable to other Mancera and Montal fragrances that I have in my collection. And I certainly own, with both of these brands combined, I own more than 30. So this is another example of the type of quality that you would expect to get from this brand. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I did make a comparison, but all things considered, in a lineup, if you were to juxtapose it with another fragrance that might be getting compared to it, you will pick up on the differences instantaneously. So it's spicy, it's lemony, it's creamy, it's rosy, it's woodsy, but not in an animalic way. It's a really special blend available at Twisted Lily. Longevity on this one, you're gonna get about nine to 10 hours on your skin, which is on par for Mancera products. Projection on this one was fantastic for the first hour and a half of application, it radiated beyond an arm's length. It became an elbows length scent right around hour seven, a skin scent right around hour 10. In terms of the versatility, I think this one is great for all year round. You can wear this one dressed up or dressed down. It's a little masculine leaning, but again, these are just recommendations. Wear what you want, wear what makes you happy. And I think this one will appeal to anybody of any age. And as far as the presentation is concerned, you see how it has the pressurized atomizer, the magnetic cap, if it used to be a screw-on cap, but now it has the magnetic cap, which kind of takes away a cool feature that used to happen where you used to take the Mancera caps and you can actually screw them onto a Montal bottle, but the presentation for both brands have been updated over the past few years. My final verdict on this fragrance is, it is one of the most versatile fragrances that you can have in your collection. It has pepper in the name. It's not overwhelmingly a pepper-based fragrance. It's creamy, it's smooth, it's fresh. It has a lot to love and I think that if you have the opportunity to try this one, I would really prioritize it. Of course, it's not gonna be as heavy as Tonka Cola or you know Red Tobacco or some of these other really black prestigium. It's not gonna be as heavy as some of these other Mancera fragrances, but it has that freshness which lends to that compliment appeal. And I really hope you have the opportunity to try this one soon. Look, you have a chance to participate in a very special giveaway at cephalabon.com. First link down below. Thanks again to Twisted Lily for having this fragrance and making this video possible. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.